What's up? My name is Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, it's more of an announcement video than a serious tutorial guide. If you open up OBS after updating it to OBS 29, you'll notice that all of your input sources, or at least display captures, are disabled, or rather, just showing nothing. Why is this, and how do we fix it? Well, first of all, to fix it, simply double click on whatever input is black. It'll open up as such with a preview. Make sure that the display is correctly selected here, and then hit OK. And when you do so, you should be able to see things once more. Why is this? Well, with the update to OBS 29, compatibility with Windows has been improved or certain things have been messed around with in a way that when you disconnect and reconnect displays, change resolutions, etc., OBS should have a much easier job of remembering which display is which. I oftentimes change my display resolution, which plays a muck with this program here. And of course, if my PC goes to sleep or the screens just turn off, some of them turn off completely and disconnect from my PC until I turn them on, at which time they're reconnected. It should now be at a stage that you unplug and plug your monitor in again, or it goes into sleep and you wake it up, it should automatically select the correct monitor here. Whereas before, you'd have to open it up, select the correct monitor, OK, and continue with your life. It's improved, but of course, if you start it up expecting things to work and suddenly everything's black or blank, not working, that's how you fix it. Super simple. If, however, this isn't the solution and instead you've installed OBS 29 instead of updating to it and all of your inputs are black, opening it up and messing around with them does nothing. In the description down below, you'll find a guide for that specific issue. This is just a change with an update rather than an issue that's been brought in by your PC, the update or anything like that. More of a PSA, but once again, if you're having issues, you'll find a link in the description down below. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.